guys, today we are doing another nib review and we are pulling another delicious nib from our very tasty nib box. Today, we are taking a look at the hunt drawing. I feel like we did the hunt drawing nib. Actually, there's a good way to find out. Just flip, flip, flip back through the box or the book. No, we did the hunt school nib. So today is indeed the hunt drawing nib. Now, my previous experience with hunt nibs tells me I might as well just go ahead and pull my speedball holder out, which is fortunate that I have it because A, the hunt nibs seem to only work in those, but, 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 speedball seems to include them. So this is a hunt drawing nib and we're going to be inking in the Denik Inktober sketchbook and it is absolutely not a sketchbook I would recommend, but we're using what we have and we are going to be inking today. Do you not want to go in the nib? There we go. Thank you. Oh, look at this. I forgot. This is one that'll like just about get lost in there, which is not good. We're going to be inking with FW acrylic ink in Payne's gray. Payne in the booty gray. Just like my cat. And it's time to refill. So you guys, I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you've been checking out my other ink and I mean my other nib videos. I think you'll find them really helpful. There we go, all full, not awful, all full. All right, so we got our sails, we got our sails, a hunt drawn nib. Whoa, super flexy. This is gonna be one that I have difficulty controlling, I can tell. Fortunately, I had a big old cup of ice cream and that always helps with my hand control. Haven't you guys noticed that? Other inkers back me up. Your favorite sweet treat always helps with your inking, right? that's what we tell ourselves our kids and our significant others when they ask us why we're eating ice cream at 11 o'clock at night well I've got some inking to do uh, this ice cream will help me eat better but even with my look at how much ink that just dropped it just dropped like a bunch of ink Kara looks like she's gonna go be a football player even with my increased inking skills from the ice cream I find this nib a little difficult to control and it did drop a lot of ink but maybe that's user error maybe that's an ID10T error maybe this user is at fault maybe I didn't dab it off well enough Usually I keep a little scrap sheet of paper handy and I usually make it a point to tell you guys that I have it handy so that you will learn that you need one. Excuse me, cat. I don't want you on my lap. I'm inking. You're going to completely, no, oh, he's going to negate all my ice cream induced inking ability. Y'all do something about this cat. Oh, yes, I know unfair trying not to smear this still wet ink and now I have to work around a cat and that's not in my contract He's lashing his tail because he feels I didn't give him enough room on my lap. Well, no, I didn't want you sitting here. And this is kind of a hard to control nib. It's a very soft and flexible nib. 
So if you're looking for a nib that can pull down some nice thick line weights, then you don't want to order a Japanese nib, or you're want, looking for something that's readily available in most stores, most art stores, this might be the nib for you. But it puts down a lot of ink. However, it is not as prone to railroading as some of the nicer flexi nibs I have used. So that's that's kind of interesting. I mean, it can hold a surprising amount of ink considering there's nothing special. There's no tricks up this rabbit sleeve. But it does dump a lot of ink. Especially when it meets another line that's pretty wet. Wiggle, wiggle, lash, lash goes the cattail. You can also move horizontally with it, which is not. Oh, now he wants to get up. Thank you. Had enough of me. Uh, not all nibs will let you do a horizontal line like that. Not all nibs will flex horizontally either. I mean, it wasn't a great horizontal flex, but it was a horizontal flex. And it will still put down ink, even if you're being, well, I was gonna say that, and then it doesn't want to. But it's pretty good about putting down ink and not tearing up the paper, which is impressive. I've had a lot of problems with Hunt and other pointed pen calligraphy nibs. Tearing up my paper because it got too wet. Not a bad inker, easy to find, very inexpensive. So if you don't mind it dropping a massive amount of ink on your paper and you're not inking comics, so you don't necessarily need a fast dry time, this might not be a bad nib for you to give a try. It's fun and fairly inexpensive and um, has a whole lot of flex in it that you can use to your advantage. Before I sign off, I wanted to thank those of you who let me know that you enjoy my nib review videos. Your kind words really do mean a lot to me and it makes me excited to keep doing them. So I'm glad they're helpful to you guys and I will continue to try to produce helpful nib reviews. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was the Hunt Drawing Nib. Not a bad drawing nib, not the best drawing nib, little difficult to control. If you're heavy handed, this might not be the nib for you. It doesn't railroad too frequently. It's actually very good about that, but it does dump a lot of ink on the paper. So that can cause a lot of different kinds of problems, such as longer dry times, increased chance of smearing, and it not really being suitable if you're doing comics and it not being a suitable nib if you're heavy handed like me. So I hope this was helpful. I hope, we'll, hope it was useful. Keep those comments going, coming guys. Even when I don't respond, it always really means a lot to me. It always brings a smile to my face. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Oh my gosh, I just stuck my finger in the ink. <laughs> Waving me all, man. All right, bye guys.